Good morning, everyone. I was just putting together some thank you cards for my customers for last month's orders. And I thought you might like to see how I put to them together. And you might want to see what making 50 cards all at once looks like. So um, this is one of my cards and I've made them in three different colors. I love this card because it's got different elements on it, yet it's a good card if you want to make a lot of them. I'm going to show you how to make it and I'll show you all the colors that I have for it. And yeah, I'll show you a little trick for this card as well. So I'm going to switch over to my other camera and I'm going to show you how to make it. So here are all my cut up cards. I still have to assemble them, but right here I've got pieces to make over 50 cards and I'm going to do them in this kind of blue green combo, a yellow combo and a purple combo. And these are what the cards look like down here. I think they look just beautiful together. And I love this stamp set. It is called Band Together. And it's got this beautiful floral here and some awesome greetings. So grateful we are friends. You're a great example to me. Wishing you a happy birthday. Celebrate the best day ever. You are amazing and beautiful inside and out. This stamp set also has a matching die so it can be bought together as a bundle. When you buy them together as a bundle, you can save 10%. And the die set is called the Detailed Bands Dies. And basically, these little dies have kind of this banded portion so you can bring them across different cards. I am using this one right here on my card because I'm making a lot of these. Um, some of the detail in this can take a little while to get all the little pieces out. It doesn't take a ton of time, but if you're going to do 50 cards like that, um, it's going to be um, something you're going to want to spend or budget a little bit more time with. So I love this little band here. The only thing is I wanted to make it a little longer. So you can see it cuts out a band that is about five inches and I wanted it to extend five and a half inches. So I'm going to show you how to make that one a little longer. And then finally, I also use the Scripty embossing folder. This piece right here on all the sides is embossed with this embossing folder. So um, one of the tricks for that was I actually cut my piece to six inches by five and a half inches. And I put it in so that the words would come across here. So I embossed that piece um, at the same time and then I cut it into one inch strips so I didn't have to emboss 50 separate pieces. I embossed, I don't know how many you divide it up, but I embossed a lot less and then I did the cutting afterwards to save myself a little time. So those are um, what I use and so let me just set this stuff aside for a moment and I'll show you how I created the card. So you want to start off with a card base. Um, so Saffron, Purple Posy, or Pool Party. You want to pick colors that have like three colors that work well together. Um, this one is So Saffron, Daffodil Delight, and Crush Curry. This one's Purple Posy, Highland Heather, and Gorgeous Grape. And then this last one I'll show you today's Pool Party pool party, coastal cabana, and Bermuda Bay. So you want to choose colors that work really well together. So I've got a pool party card base here. This one measures 11 inches by four and a quarter and scored in half at five and a half. And you'll want to fold it in half. And I like to use a bone folder to fold this down. Now, since I am stamping 50 of these cards, and that's a lot to stamp, I like to use my Stamparatus when I do that because that way I get perfect alignment every time. 
plus if there is um, a, a spot where I didn't get enough ink, I can actually just move it back on. So how do you go about aligning um, something like this? So here's the bottom of my card. So if you wanna just peel your stamp off, maybe bring it like this. And I wanted it closer to this right side right here. So I'm just gonna kind of line it up, upside down on my piece. I wanna make sure that it's um, straight. You know, the stem is coming down vertically. And once I like how that looks, I'm going to bring my plate down and pick it up, okay? So at this point, if you wanted to, you know, you could put a scrap piece of car, um, or computer paper in here and test it out and see how it looks. I'm pretty confident that I'll be pretty bang on. So I'm going to take my Bermuda Bay. So for each of these, choose the ink color in the darkest color you use. So it would be Crushed Curry, Gorgeous Grape, or Bermuda Bay. So I'm gonna use Bermuda Bay nice dark color and then I'm going to ink up my stamp right on my stamparatus. You want to make sure that your card base is able to be completely flat. That's why I use the bone folder. Otherwise when I flip it over it might shift the cardstock a bit if it's sticking up like that. So you want it to be really flat and then I'm going to go ahead and just press down and then lift off. So up here at the top, it didn't stamp that well. Um, probably I didn't press over there. So I'll just make sure this is still in the corner. And then I can come over here and give it another little press. And look, I fixed the problem. And now this is ready to go. And then you can finish it off with the other pieces of the card. Oh, one other thing, since this is already out here, and oops, I need to get my little You Are Amazing on a block that cleaned everything up after I did the initial stamping. I'm going to pop this on a C block here. I was able to freehand stamp the greetings pretty easily so I didn't put that on the Stamparatus. So this stamp set actually has an oval, which I left across the room. Here it is. Here's the oval. And I just cut out one out of a piece of Whisper White cardstock. I did that in advance. And then I'll just tap this on with the same color of ink that I used for my flower. And then I'm just going to stamp this on here. This one was pretty easy to stamp. So we're building up the card here. Then I already told you about my trick to get this strip. If you're going to stamp at least six of these, cut a piece of six by five and a half and run it through with a strip the embossing folder and then cut it on um, uh, into one inch strips so it measures five and a half by one inch. So now we have this piece here. And then this is the hardest thing to do of the whole piece is to get this little piece extended. So I'm gonna show you how I did that with my fake shot. Got this here. I've got my magnetic platform down. I'm gonna put my little strip here and I'm going to grab this band right here that I need. And first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to make sure the one end right here is hanging off a little bit because I wanna make sure that I get the full length of the cardstock piece. A couple other things. This piece is the middle color or medium intensity color. So I'm using the Coastal Cabana color here. And I've made sure to cut my piece five and a half to one inch because we want it to be uh, five and a half inches long. So I'm just going to, the ends coming off on this side. I now have to be careful with my top 
plate placement. So I'm not going to come and do the regular placement as I would all the way um, coming over top. I need to make sure that this end right here doesn't cut. So I'm going to make sure I'm about at least half an inch away from the end here so it doesn't cut and then I'll run this through. If you find this middle piece right here is um, sticking at all, just rub your piece over, rub your die over some wax paper before you run it through and that will help release these little pieces. These pieces are pretty easy to poke out. There's only five of them. Okay, so now you have this piece right here and you'll notice it didn't cut off right here. That's what I wanted. And then you can just come over here on the side and just cut along the cut line. It's pretty easy to just eyeball it and then make a cut. You might need to straighten out just a little bit and smooth it out. The one thing that's going to help us down here as well is that I am using the greeting to cover over that little transition right there. So even if you don't cut it 100%, you won't be able to see it because we've got that greeting right there. Okay, so now all we need to do is adhere everything together. And I'm going to take some Tombow glue to do that. And first we need to glue down this scripty piece to get the glue going at the end of the bottle and it may be stuck a little bit so we'll get out our handy dandy paper clip right here and just clean out the end so now if you'll see there we go it's a little stuck and then we'll just add this to the side of the card here. Looks good. And then we'll add this piece. Sometimes it's easier if you glue this piece on uh, first to the little Bermuda base strip. Uh, it's easier to line up a little bit. but. It's okay, we'll get it on here. Okay, look how beautiful that looks already. And now we can just take some Tombow and adhere this. And this is going to come over top of here right now. And there we go. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, I love these cards. And I loved making them in some different colors, right? They look so beautiful together. The purple, the yellow, and then the blue-green colors. I just love how they looked. Now, I did experiment a little bit with some other colors we have. But I kind of rejected them because they didn't have as good a flow. But um, I did try it out with some other colors as well just to see if I liked the tri-color effect um, but you kind of need to have them look really good you need to kind of have the step up of the colors and Pool Party Costa Cabana Bermuda Bay Saffron Daffodil and Curry look nice together and so do Posey Highland and Gorgeous Grape they kind of make that card those cards look really awesome together. So those are going to be my thank you cards this month. And, you know, the band together um, stamp set is just a really beautiful, beautiful um, stamp set to have. Now, I probably chose the least decorative of all the bands, but so you can see even with this cute little band, the the easiest one to create. It already looks pretty beautiful. So you can just imagine the beautiful um, bands that you could use that were a little bit more intricate with a set. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this card. If you need supplies to get this card, 
please go down below in my video where you, uh, in the description of the video, there will be a link to pop over to my blog post so um, that you can uh, find all the supplies you need to, to make it. Um, I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you back here soon with another video. Bye-bye.